Finding the right typography for your branding, web design, or even really any design project is a huge time suck. It is really difficult to find good fonts that work well together that don't break the bank. But it's also one of the most important parts of the whole design process. Because as any designer knows, it's almost impossible to make something look good if the fonts look bad. The typography that you choose is going to set the tone for the design and it's going to fill up most of the design because typography really sets everything from the beginning. It's going to be the tone, it's going to be the personality. It really encapsulates everything about the design. So choosing the right fonts is absolutely vital. But whenever you see people say, okay, here's the best places to get fonts, it's typically in two types of places. The first is Google Fonts, which is obviously free and a really good resource. And there's some really nice fonts on Google Fonts, but I'm sure if you've been a designer for a while, you know every single font on Google Fonts. And then there's Adobe Fonts, which is pretty good. It's pretty much the only thing that Adobe does good anymore. But it becomes a pain to consistently rely on Google and Adobe Fonts. The other place that's obvious to go is the really expensive type foundries. And I often go to these places because if we have the budget for a project, it's the best place to go because those fonts are really good. But after spending countless hours looking for alternatives to Google, Adobe, and the super expensive type foundries, I found a few different ways to actually get inspiration and get ideas for typography pairings. So in this video, I'm going to share with you two resources which are going to help you find inspiration and gather together different fonts. And then I'm going to share two different places that you can find fonts. One is free and one is relatively cheap. So the very first step that I do when I'm trying to look for different typography pairings is I'm going to create a list inside a notion. I'm going to write in that list all the different fonts I want to try out and I'm going to try to get a free trial of that font or if it's a free font I can just download it myself and then use it inside of Figma to see what it looks like as a pairing. So the very first place I come to is Typewolf. Now inside of Typewolf what you have on the home page is different pairings used on live websites. So you can see here there's some different design examples and you can click on the specific font. When you click into the font, you get a bunch of information about this font. You can get the link to actually go buy the font or to get the free version of the font. But there's also similar alternatives in here, which I really like because if I find a font on a site that I like, I'll find what that font is. I'll go into Typewolf, I'll find it, and then I'll find an alternative. This is especially useful because they have all the Adobe font versions here. So if you are using Adobe fonts, then you can just grab a similar version to this font from Adobe. And the next thing I do once I've actually found a font that I like is they have some font pairings below. And with this, what you can see is what this font looks like with other fonts. So for example, I can see what all these different pairings are looking like. And if anything catches my eye, maybe this one here, I can think, okay, do I like this font? Could I use this in the design? Should I get a free trial of this font to test it out inside of Figma? So for me, Typewolf is the first place I come because I can get so much inspiration really quickly. They also have lists of really popular fonts. If you're looking for something that is used a little bit more often, you can see there's different lists here and there's also alternatives to really popular fonts. So the second place I look when I'm looking for inspiration for some nice typography is Maxi Best Of. Now, initially this was an inspiration board, but they also have a way to browse by the fonts they used. Once you go into to here is going to categorize all the inspiration that they have by the fonts that are used on the website. So the very first ones are always the fonts that are used most often. So you're going to see Inter, you're going to see Helvetica, you're going to see GT America, things like that. It's really interesting to see these in action and see what they're looking like when they're used by different designers. But the thing I like to do with this website is to start going down here and looking at some of the less used typography and start to look and explore with this typography. So if I go over to the third page, you're going to see that these have only been used in 15 examples. So this probably means that it's going to be a slightly newer font. It could be a little bit of a hidden gem and you can just start to play around with these different fonts and see what other designers are doing with these because when you're trying to create this style when you're trying to create a vibe it's really important to just get these different fonts as a base to work from and just start playing around with ideas when you're looking for fonts on this site it can also kind of pair as looking for design inspiration because you can see on here we have screenshots of different sites i can click on this i can kind of go into what the typography is looking like and then i can see some different examples of this typography being used Used. And one thing I really like with this is it has some nice font pairings with this typography. Similar to Typewolf, you also have some similar alternatives inside of here if you're looking for fonts that are slightly different to this, but obviously creating a, a similar vibe. Now, the next place that I want to share with you is actually a marketplace that has a lot of different paid fonts, and these paid fonts are relatively cheap and easy to use. So this is You Work For Them. 
on here there are so many different variations of typography you can see they have a hundred and nearly ninety thousand high quality fonts now not everything on here is as high quality as it is in some other foundries so with this you actually have to do the vetting and see if the fonts on here are good enough to use for your project but there's a lot more variation there's a lot more kind of interesting pieces here this is especially useful for branding projects and for projects where you're not necessarily using them on the web there is plenty of fonts here that are great for the web but some of these are not as versatile as the typical web fonts you can see inside of here there is so much inspiration and you can also get kind of a vibe with the cover images i really like some of these top fonts like this one here is one i've used on a previous project as you can see this is slightly more of a kind of retro humanist font but inside of here you can see there's loads of different inspiration but as I mentioned there's not a huge amount of variations of font weights one of the main drawbacks with this place is there is not free trials of these different fonts but you can start to play around with the different weights and see what it's looking like with some typography along here I typically find myself coming to this site over and over again when I'm looking to work on a project that has a little bit more flair. Typically, that will be also involved in the branding side of things. So if we're creating a whole vibe and we're not necessarily just going for like the super clean tech look, this is where I'm going to come look for some font inspiration. And the final place that I've been going recently when I'm looking for different typography to try is one of my favorite free foundries. So this is called FontShare. And on FontShare, there is so many nice fonts, Satoshi being one of the main ones that is very popular at the minute. But on here, there is so many different variations of fonts. They're all really clean, all look really good and completely free to use. As you can see on here, it feels like the list is somewhat kind of endless of different types of typography that you can test in here. You've got so many different variations. I know a lot of these are pulling from free fonts in other places, kind of open source fonts like Plus Jakarta. But at the very top of this, they are some of my favorite fonts at the minute. Um, one we've been using a bunch is this Switzer. This one here, been using this one a bunch recently, along with General Sans. So there are so many fonts in this one. This is one of my favorite places at the minute to get free fonts that is not just Google fonts, it's not just like the typical ones you're seeing. This foundry is also really nice because it has the different font pairings that you can use. You can see these in action without having to actually download the thing and then bring it into Figma. So for me, that is the four different places I'm gonna go look whenever I'm looking for typography at the start of a project. These places have helped me save a lot of time and I don't spend as many hours as I used to looking for the perfect typography. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, if the project allows, I always go to a paid foundry because for me, paid foundries have the highest quality fonts that really is undefeated when you're trying to create a certain vibe. So if you'd be interested in a video on different font foundries, then just let me know in the comments and I'll make one in future. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.